Welcome to Sometimes It's Those Subtle Bugs That Will Get You. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, tonight's episode, because it's it's really night here, is a story from the real life. Uh, names has been changed and, and so on, but nonetheless, this is basically something from real life. Um, a story about trying to do everything right and then still missing a very subtle bug that has pretty big consequences. Um, but let's, as, as all good stories go, we have to start from the beginning. And um, the beginning is on a blank canvas. So I will write an app. Um, and um, we need a code unit for this app. Uh, and, you know, send invoices as emails. That's a good code unit. Uh, and here we need a function. You, know, you guessed it, send invoices as emails. So far so good. Not really any issue so at this point. So the task is clear. We need to email some invoices. Um, so let's uh, let's get wow, let's get a posted sales header because we need one of those. Um, sales invoice header action. Ah, oh, invoice header. Wow. There you go. Um, so so what we need to do is of course we need to do set some sort of filter here. Uh, Maybe we want to do set range printed zero. Just to that 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 has nothing to do with the, with the issue. Uh, and we, we will use the classic find set repeat next pattern because we need to send each invoice as an email. We are we're not gonna be clever and say okay this guy has four invoices so we'll write send him one email. With four invoices attached, we're just going to keep it super simple. Um, and um, so, so we need to print the invoice. Uh, and we have a function called report dot save as. That's a great function. And we can take a report. It doesn't really matter again what invoice we're putting. That has nothing to do with the issue. Next parameter is parameters. We don't care about those. Um, report format. We want to send a PDF. And we need to an outstream. And then we need a ref to tell what to run on. Um, and this one returns a boolean if this works. So let's be proper and do error testing here. Okay, so we got a couple of things that we need to solve. Uh, clearly we need an outstream. Uh, so we need somewhere to print. And we need a ref because we need a record ref to pass into uh, into this. And we'll just make that really, uh, really simple here. Just get the one here. Um, If we want to be really clever and, and uh, perhaps proper, so we avoid, depending on what report you're running, uh, so I will create another variable here. So PSH2 equal PSH. Um, and then I'm going to do a PSH2 PSH set range. For the number for the PS1 number, so we we are sure that no matter what, we're only sending a filter of one into a into a, the report. I think that's actually a a video on 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 specifically on this pattern so far. Um, but the outstream needs to be somewhere. So so let's uh, create a. Uh, our old favorite a temp blob, which is a code unit, temp blob. 
So we do temp blob create outstream so it's ready to be written into. Okay, so we now we have the report. So in order to email this, we have to have an email message, which is also a code unit these days. Email message, and then we need the email code unit itself to send it. There we go. Um, so now that we have this thing here, we can do email mess message dot create and we're just going to send it to Pozel's header email. I think sell to email. That's the one we want. Subject, your invoice uh, and body. Here you go. That's a great thing. And then we can go email message dot add attachment, attachment name. And we can go PSH, uh, let's do something fancy like invoice uh, plus PSH number plus dot PDF. And the next is a content type. So we'll do apply a PP like application that's PDF. And then a attachment base 64. So we need some base 64. I think there's a video, multiple video of that one. That's also a code unit base 64 convert. Um, so base 64 to base 64 and it's either a string on in stream. Okay, so let's do an in stream. Uh, so we got the out stream, so our stuff is in the temp blob. So now we're just gonna pull it out of the temp blob by grabbing an in stream to that. So we'll pass that here. There we go. And finally, we're going to do email.send, email message, and we're even going to do a, um, a email scenario, uh, something with uh, sales invoice. There you go. It's also an email. Uh, an email. <laughs> There's also an email. A, there's also a video on email scenarios. Anyway, I think we're done. And um, perhaps we, we, we want to do something, uh, want to update printed if the sales invoice is not doing that or whatever we need. But in basic, this is, this is the essential of, of what was created. And uh, unless I made a uh, another mistake here, and I'm just looking at the code, I don't think so. Um, so we take invoices, we loop through them, we create a, a template up outstream, we print into the template up, uh, we grab the the template up, we um, attach that to an email, we create it and send that. And it, this was tested. This was tested, no, with one, with two, with whatever, and, and everything worked. Everything worked. So there was, it was, everybody was happy until uh, this ran at the customer. Then the customer started receiving uh, phone calls saying, uh, we got your the invoice, but we cannot open the attachment. And that is due to the subtle bug. So can you see the bug? Um, the, I guess some other YouTubers will say, hey, now you post the video. Um, but you have been looking at the code so far. So if you're still with me 10 minutes in, um, let's talk about what is going, what, what, went wrong. So if you test, if you run this 
on a single invoice, it works every single time, no matter what invoice you give. You can never get it to create a, a corrupt PDF that cannot be opened. If you run it on two invoices, you might be fine. If you want it on three, you might also be fine. The probability of you still being fine is getting lower and lower for each uh, invoice you add to this. And here's the thing. Templop is, uh, is a, like a, a memory buffer. And, and what is happening here is that we come in the first time, now the templop is empty. We create an outstream, so we can write into that at, at the beginning of the templop. So the report is writing, let's say the report is write, writing 100 kilobytes uh, of PDF into the templop. That's excellent. We get the in-stream, we read the 100 kilobytes of data out of the templop again. Um, that's great. Now we loop to the next invoice and we print this, but this invoice is like the first one was 10 pages or five pages, it was a big invoice. Now we get to a small invoice. So the PDF now is only 50 kilobytes instead of 100. We get a temp, uh, we get the outstream. So we start writing into, uh, in, in, into the template. The report is writing into the template. We get the uh, out in stream to read it out again. And now we get 100 kilobytes. Because you had 100 kilobytes sitting in the template. Then you went in and wrote another 50 at the beginning, but the, the other 50 is still there. So suddenly you have this valid data and then something in the, at, the, at the tail end. And depending on whatever file format you're dealing with, this might this might work because some file types have an end of file information in them, uh, some don't. Uh, so sometimes PDFs can survive this. There's this junk at the end of file, I will ignore it. Other cases, PDF will not allow this because it, the way uh, compression and, and stuff like that works inside the PDF. So, you have a file and you know the further you get well it's the largest file you printed that will define the, the amount of data that you're sending out it might look fine and and you open it and all is good and depending on the pdf reader you might have different so some can open it others cannot but you get the right data and then you get a junk data at the end of it because that's whatever leftover was from the largest one you printed so in order to fix the subtle bug here, what we got to do is a one-liner. It's always a one-liner that fixes stuff, right? We got to clear the template. So create outstream is not resetting and say, now you can do it again. It's just giving you a way to, to write into uh, what's ever on the other end. Uh, in this case, a blob. Um, so it's very subtle and uh, and un 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 unless you tried it, you might not necessarily uh, think about it uh, because template is just a thing you put in and then you grab it out again and then you, it's temporary, right? But in this case, it's persistent because it survives the loop. Um, you could argue, and, and, and I think that's a fair argument um that you can say okay but hang on eric the proper solution would be that this thing uh prints and single invoice right so this becomes a procedure uh and and i uh, maybe i shouldn't have done the the, the let's actually undo this so that was not proper so let's grab this here and extract to procedure, print and email single invoice. Wow, there you go. I can't, wow, boom. Right, now 
there is no loop. So temp blob is all, always initialized for each call. So so the whole the whole thing is no longer an issue. Um, but would you do that? Maybe you would. Maybe you wouldn't because you know this one is suddenly a very small function. So. Um, the, the the general rule about stuff fitting on the screen can be a, a single function would still apply if we are back in 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 this version. Um, but it's those subtle bugs that will sometimes get you. Even though you think you have done your due diligence and you have tested and everything looks fine, then junk data at the end of the PDF that's really really hard to catch unless you manage to exactly if you, you know you said this and you send out a hundred test emails do you open every hundred and maybe number 77 is broken because for some reason they're all the same size until that point or it's those subtle bugs that will get you and um, there's probably more bugs in this video um, and if if not, if you need more bugs, then uh, actually I'm going to remove my fingers here for a second. Uh, if you're coming to uh, directions EMEA, I'm going to do a talk about about debugging, about finding solid bugs like this. Uh, so I have promised to bring so many bugs to a single session that you have never seen that many bugs in a single session before. So if you're coming to directions. Look up my session. Anyway, where were I? Here. This video, Until Directions. Check this one out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.